everyone, I'm Eero Westerberg, I'm the Master Coach of Wav Fitness. Today I'm going to present you the steel mace, also called the, with the agent name Gada. And this is one of the equipments that we have in the Iron King method. So the steel mace, to think about a little bit the origin of this. So from, I think we can go as far as back into the caveman times. I mean, into the very origin of our species, into to our ancestor times. I mean, people used to utilize maces, clubs, sticks, you name it. Everything that has a long handle were actually used as a practical, either as a tool uh, or as a weapon, actually. So that you wouldn't maybe, or I wouldn't consider that as formal training, which is probably wasn't. It was just part of their lives. But any of this kind of equipment, even working equipment or war equipment that you're utilizing, it will train your body. So this is the very, I'd say, early beginning. But we also have like really, really strong records of formal training with the actual maze. And this is when we go back to, you know, over probably over 2000 years into the ancient Indian cultures where these were utilized. And as I mentioned, they were called gadas. Or, or the, the gada was the name for, for a particular tool that had a long handle. And then the weight of it was in the one end, just as this steel version over here. There's all the other version, the Indian clubs, which I will present to you later. But we have also examples of other cultures utilizing the similar principle as in Gada. Because what is the purpose here is that this is heavy. And this is heavier than your actual weapon that you're utilizing in the combat. And this is why it actually produces results. Because after you get very adequate with this, you get good at throwing with it. You don't have to use your body with it wielding the actual sword or the actual mace that you're going to be utilizing in those war situations is going to feel that much easier. And if we look at the ancient Greek or, or uh, actually ancient Roman cultures and even the medieval times, the way these people used to practice was with swords that were at least twice as heavy as their regular uh, combat swords. So they got similar type of benefits. So this is a very universal method, I say method, not universal tool necessarily, but the universal method of warriors and, and soldiers to own their skills of utilizing this kind of warrior or war tools. Aside from that, the benefits are really, as far as I'm concerned, universal. Now, what I really first fell in love with this was this different type of flows that you can do with the steel mace, 360 degree swings and different type of other swings that you can utilize, right? But Little did I know that it would have such a dramatic impact into my body. And I had been training for over 10 years at this point. And it made a huge, one of the biggest impacts that I had in the recent years into my body. And especially into the forearm development, which I'm not sure is, is visible here. But my forearm muscles grew and like just blew up. That, that is the best way to, to, to call that. And became much more robust and my grip strength increased also dramatically while doing that. That is a universal benefit. It doesn't matter actually if you're an ancient warrior or you're a modern day athlete who is doing almost any kind of game. It's especially useful, of course, for martial artists, if you need to grip for wrestlers, grapplers, but also if you're playing, playing some kind of with the bats, baseball, even hockey, anything that you need to grip onto something, you're going to get benefits. Anything that you need to put play, place pressure or weight on your, on your forearms, that's gonna, you're going to see great impacts on that. The, but this is the one of the most obvious benefits that's come from it because the handle is thick. So it is much more difficult to, to grab this the thick handle than it is to grab an actual barbell. So even weight lifting and doing calisthenics will potentially become easier and better once you get a good grip of this one. So the benefit that may not be maybe so obvious is that this is actually, although I'm wielding my arms, Right, I'm gripping with my arms. This is a full body exercise. And even in the Arugi method, I, we start from the ground up. We're gonna learn, first learn the stance, the base, the foundation. This is, you know, you need to have rooting with this. Because this kind of maze, this is like nearly seven kilos. The forces when you put it on this long lever are huge, like tremendous forces. And while I'm swinging this, if you don't have a base in your body, If this is not strong, your legs are not strong, your core, not, core are not strong, you're not going to be able to swing this at all. So every single movement actually engages the 360 degree core musculature that you have. Your hips will be activated. Your ankles, from ankles up, 
you're going to be engaged to an extent. Then of course, traveling from there to the shoulder, as you can see, there's constant flowing shoulder motions in overhead positions, lateral positions, 3D motions, core, 3D motion, shoulder, hip stability. This is all going to get trained with this. And this is incredibly transferable training for athleticism and performance, for real life, actually functional performance, where you need to be able to actually handle this type of forces with your body. And you may need to be able to manipulate objects around yourself, whether it's uh, training tools or whether it's other people in wrestling or grappling or some type of martial arts situation or even to have that kind of base support when you punch you're you're even you to an extent when you go to in an enough advanced level you're going to be learning to utilize even your kinetic chain i mean there's the chain of utilizing the hip and the core together and the arm and the shoulder follow so it's, it is unbelievably multifaceted tool and I can't stress enough just the, the effects also on the aesthetics although you know I'm always interested in the functional aspects but the muscle growth also in the arms uh, you know even the bicep area even the, the the center of the upper arm the different the 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 what is this forearm flexures the bulk here under the forearm, the entire thing, the entire arm section will be increased with, the, with this type of tools. So I can recommend this to every actually single person and not just even athletes, just for people in general who like to take care of their, their strength with functional tools. This is, my, uh, like, this is my favorite tool probably at the moment, besides the, the clubs, the Indian clubs, I also like those. It really is an ancient tool and it is fairly difficult to possibly get those wooden gadas, but the steel gadas, they're quite cheap. You can order them from Amazon. Very simple, easy to get. Cost maybe 50 bucks. Depends a little bit how heavy you want to get, but you can get it straight to your doorsteps and start swinging right away. And don't take too heavy in the beginning. That's my last tip here. Choose light, like starting maybe different, depending on your strength. Four, five, six kilos is, is that starting depending on how big you are physically, are you male or a female? Four, four to six kilos is a great starting weight and building up from there. So enjoy the training with the steel mace.